The pandemic has created many uncertainties. We still don't know how long it will last or how quickly people will be able to return to their pre-COVID activities. Travel trends also continue to evolve. I'll share some information that CMAP has been collecting on how the pandemic has impacted transportation in our region. Let's start by looking at traffic volumes. Traffic on Illinois roads has rebounded significantly since the beginning of the pandemic, but volumes continue to fluctuate. This chart looks at traffic on Wednesdays in March 2020 through January 2021, using data from the Illinois Department of Transportation. The yellow line shows all traffic combined. As you can see, the largest decline happened in late March after Illinois' stay-at-home order took effect. While volumes slowly rebounded by April, volumes across vehicle classes have declined during the last couple of months as mitigation measures were put in place to counteract a surge in COVID-19 cases. Passenger vehicles, shown by the blue line, have followed a similar pattern. During peak travel months in the summer, volumes remained around 10% below pre-COVID levels. Volumes since have dropped, reflecting a surge in virus cases. The orange and gray lines represent commercial vehicle volumes, which initially had seen less impact from the pandemic, but have been declining recently. Next, we can see the impact that fewer vehicles have had on travel speeds. Expressway speeds remain significantly higher than before the pandemic. This chart shows the system average for the non-tolled interstates in March, May, and this past January, and how it corresponds to time of day. The light blue line shows the first Wednesday in March. As we would expect, we saw a drop in the average speed during morning and again in the late afternoon and early evening, as many people commute to and from work. Compared to the yellow line showing the average for all Wednesdays in January 2021, we still see reductions in average speed during peak commute times because of traffic volumes, but speeds during these times remain noticeably higher nearly 11 months after the pandemic began. This chart reflects the enormous impact the pandemic and social distancing have had on transit ridership. It captures the year-over-year -year percent change of riders taking CTA, Metra, and PACE. System-wide ridership, as shown in dark blue, dropped to nearly 80% below normal levels shortly after Illinois' stay-at-home order in March 2020. It remained nearly that level through the end of April before slowly recovering. System-wide ridership remains 74% below pre-COVID levels, with Metra and CTA rail service being the hardest hit. All providers continue to follow social distancing and public health guidelines to protect passengers and transit workers. They remain an invaluable service for essential workers. Now let's look at how cutbacks in travel have affected safety based on data from the city of Chicago. This chart shows the cumulative number of serious injuries for March 2020 through most of January compared to data for the same period for the past two years. The top three lines represent all serious injuries and the bottom three lines reflect serious injuries to cyclists and pedestrians. We can see that the number of serious injuries since the pandemic began hasn't grown as fast as the two preceding years in either category. The final slide, however, shows a divergent story for traffic fatalities. Unlike the rate of serious injuries, Overall traffic fatalities in Chicago, as shown by the green line, have been higher since March 2020 than the past two years. This is true of traffic fatalities for the state of Illinois as well. Crashes simply appear to be more deadly, which may be due to less congestion and increased speeding, among other factors. CMAP staff will continue to collect information to track the impacts of COVID-19 on our transportation system. Look for our next update in the spring.